the man who came up with the idea for the Alabama thrift stores, the America's thrift stores now, started years ago with this man right here from Alabama. This is Buford Salmon, and Buford, I just want to say thank you for doing all of this. Where did the dream come from? Well, uh, Hank, first let me thank you for doing this. Uh, well, it must be a God-given idea because I don't think I could have done all this on my own. <laughs> uh, it's just... I had been with a smaller thrift store company for a while, and uh, when it felt like the time was right, we went and looked for a location for ourselves and uh, got our first store and opened it in uh, 1985. 1985. Now, did you come from a, a, a marketing, merchandising, uh, retail background? No. I come from a farm background. <laughs> I was uh. a farmer, and then I became a television repairman. and. Uh, while I was working at a, as a TV repairman at a thrift store in Memphis, Tennessee, one day the guy approached me and said, uh, come in the office, I want to talk to you. So I went in there and he said, how would you like to get into management? I, I'll think about it. So I liked what I was doing pretty well, but uh, he gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. It wasn't very much money, but it was a good position anyway. So I, I went to work as a manager trainee in a store in Memphis, Tennessee. That's amazing. So this is this was a whole new idea for you to go into managing a concept called a thrift store. And I would imagine back in the 80s, uh, the thrift stores were an infant idea at the at the at the most. They were very small, probably around uh, four or five thousand square feet for a typical thrift store, doing um, maybe as much in a year as we do in a week <laughs> in sales <laughs> but uh you know the idea uh started there so what did you learn in the early days uh that uh, now apply to 20 years later well the actually the concept is pretty much the same well you got to get the merchandise so we ran a pickup service we used telephone solicitors for that and then uh when we uh, brought it to Birmingham, I was transferred down here to run a store in Birmingham. It's, uh, I, I don't even know if it's still in existence now or not, but uh, stayed with it uh, several years. And then I left that, went with another company for a very short time. And then the uh, building became available, and I talked to the man I was working for I, about whether or not I could open a thrift store. And he said, sure, you can do it. And... Uh, so between borrowing what I could and uh, second mortgaging my house and everything, we got the first store open. And from there, it's been uphill all the way.